Welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to discuss lying. You've been lying to yourself and you've been lying to others. I know you have. Listen and I'll tell you how. Welcome to this edition of Peak Peak Performers Performers Podcast Podcast. with your host, Thor Conklin. Thor will be sharing the necessary tools, strategies, and psychology you'll need to become a peak performer in any area of your life or business. Thor Conklin here. We give you the tricks, the tips, the tools, the strategy, the technology, and the psychology peak performers use in order to get more done and execute at the highest level. If you know what to do but struggle with getting it all done or simply want to raise your game to the next level, this podcast is for you. Sit back and enjoy. When my kids were younger, I used to drive them crazy. They would come to me and go, Dad, Dad, can we go to the ice cream store and get some ice cream? And I would say, yes, we can. And they're like, great, when are we going? I said, well, I said we can. I didn't say we would. And of course, I was probably uh, despised by uh, my kids at uh, some point growing up. But I wanted them to understand and learn the lesson that linguistics, what they say matters. The questions that they ask matter. I go through life and it's amazing how many times every day in conversations, I hear people say all the time, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do that. As soon as you say that, your brain stops. Your brain is nothing more than an operating system, similar to a computer. When you give it an instruction that comes out of your mouth that says, I can't, your brain stops looking for a way to do it, period. A buddy of mine asked me to join a group that he has on the West Coast that gets up every day at 5 a.m. West Coast time, so that's 8 o'clock my time. I'm up at 5 my time. And he wanted me to commit to joining this group. And the commitment was basically never ending. It wasn't for 30 days. It was just, you join this group, you're committing to getting up at 5 a.m. every single day. And I wrote back, and I went to write back and said, I can't commit. I'm like, whoa, whoa, hold on, wait a second. And I wrote back and I said, I won't commit because that's the truth. Could I commit? Yes, but I won't. Now, won't is a little harsher of a word than can't, right? When you hear the word, I won't, we don't use that a lot in our language. But when you start using won't, it's a very freeing process. And all I need to do is change my mind. If I want to in the future, do I will. So I want you to check the language that you're using. I can't. First of all, I have a belief in life that I can do anything I set my mind to. So anytime the word can't comes out of my mouth, I know I'm lying. And I catch myself sometimes. I do it less and less, but you will not hear can't come out of my mouth very often. And if you do, send me an email, send me, send me a text, let me know. That's a word I want out of my vocabulary. So let's run through a couple words or phrases. I can't. I won't. Here's a great one. If you're trying to watch what you're eating and be conscious of only eating great foods, and you're somewhere and dessert is offered, what do you normally say? That's okay. I'll pass. I can't. But what if you said, I don't? I don't eat sweets. I don't drink alcohol on Mondays or Tuesdays. I don't do this. All of a sudden, it's not a question of discipline. It's simply part of your identity. I don't do that. Few more phrases. I might, I should, I would, I could. Anytime I say I might, I should, I would, I could, all of those end up in one file. And it's a someday and maybe file. I may never do them, I just simply capture them, and I might do them at some point, even though I should do it. They do not end up on any sort of task list or anything like that. They simply are categorized and put into a folder. Only the ones that I must do, those are the ones that I concentrate my time on. And a phrase that I love, it's done. Question of the day, where are you finding yourself consistently saying, I can't do this, I can't do that? Utilizing willpower or just being nice. Substitute, I will not, I don't, I won't. If you continue to struggle with I can't and would like some additional help or strategies on this, please head over to Peak Performance Nation. It's a private Facebook group and you'll find additional resources there. Thank you so much for listening today. I really do appreciate your time and I hope you found today's show valuable. If you would like to receive these shows automatically to your phone or to your computer, simply go to iTunes and subscribe. After listening to several of the shows, if you're so inclined, please leave us a five-star rating as this helps us reach additional people and spread the message. If you're truly committed to taking your life to the next level and doing whatever it takes to become a peak performer, but something's holding you back, something is blocking your way, 
and you just can't seem to figure out what it is, send me an email to info at thorconklin.com, and I'd be more than happy to get on the phone with you. We'll schedule a 15-minute discovery call. No obligation, no cost. I absolutely love to hear from the listeners, and if there's something I can do to help, I'd be more than happy to do that. Also, if you found something of great interest in today's show and you want to share that with your friends and family, simply go to my Facebook page, Thor Conklin, click on the episode, hit the share button, and share it on your page. You can follow me at Twitter at Thor Conklin. The website is ThorConklin.com. We're constantly adding new free resources, discussing additional tricks, tips, tools, and strategies on how to be a peak performer. Remember, I try to keep these episodes short so you can listen to them during dot time, doing other things, commuting, driving, walking, working out. Decide to be a peak performer in all that you do. And until tomorrow, have an absolutely amazing day.